big gas tank. Yeah. Here's my choke close. I'm gonna have to heat the tank a little bit. And push it in. Push it. There we go. It still won't stay choked. And we're off. I'm out here at Crossbar Ranch in Oklahoma with John P. He says there's a 25 mile loop out here. And it's rocky. So I said, let's do it. There's a bunch of uh, razors out here. There's uh, UTVs. A bunch of ATVs. But he said it's a one mile, or a 22 mile one direction loop. So there's no running into people out here. And he says there's some pretty technical stuff. I can see what he's talking about. These rocks are pretty unforgiving. Get into the swing of things here. Jump, he lost a bottle of water. Catching up to the wagon train now. Freaking UTVs are slow. I bet you feel like you're blazing trails in one of those things, but you're not. <laughs> you get fucked up while riding one, though. I guess that's good. You get fucked up riding a dirt bike, you'd be crashing. TVs. I don't see how people can afford those things, man. They're expensive. Can't imagine having like a $300 payment for something I only use like once or twice a month. I could see if you like own a ranch or something and you use it to work and then use it to play, but. Most guys who own ranches and shit, <laughs> they have enough fun riding them on their property. They usually don't take them places to ride. It's usually just like drunk rednecks and old people that ride them in places like this. I could see taking them to the dunes and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. I've seen a lot of them out there. You don't want to go to the dunes on a dirt bike, uh, especially if you're with four-wheelers. If you're with other dirt bikes, you'll be doing all right. But uh, on a dirt bike, you gotta get in a real high gear, keep the front end light, and just kinda go balls out and go for it. As soon as you let off the throttle, your front end sinks, and you start washing around. And if you're trying to do that with a four-wheeler, it doesn't wanna go like balls out the whole time. They just wanna go slow and make real sharp turns. And Two different kinds of riding styles for sure. So if you're ever the only dirt bike with a bunch of four-wheelers, you're gonna have a little bit of fun, but life's generally gonna suck for you. You can get out there with a few bikes, people that know how to ride real well, some paddle tires, have some good times out there in the sand. But uh, yeah, those UTVs, man, they're really popular. I just don't see how so many people can afford them. I actually had a buddy of mine give me a business opportunity we're still working on doing it, uh, rebuilding uh, ATVs and UTVs. Uh, he's gonna buy them from insurance auctions and bank auctions. I'm gonna recondition them in my garage and he's gonna resell them. He already does that with sport bikes. Uh, he does all the work himself. But um, When that's full of water, that's a pretty good one. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty good trail, isn't it? Yeah, it's good. It's fun. You get, you get a little dance and you get in 
the real rock, it just switches back and forth. You notice every time you get low, you get dirt. Every time you go high, you get rock. Okay. Alright, once again we're out here at Crossbar Ranch. It's in uh, Davis, Oklahoma. Um, I think it's like an hour and a half from where I live. So, uh, John was nice enough to take me out here. And I uh, chipped in what little bit of money I had. We're making a day out of it. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> We're up here at the top of this out outlook, and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Polaris razors pulled up. That's our cue to leave. You don't want to let them in front of you. Slow you down. Yeah. We just did a pretty good hill climb and John got off the track a little bit. Got thrown sideways into a tree. Had to reposition himself and take another run at it. These hills out here come out of nowhere. You can't really prepare for them or get a good run or get a good line at them. They're just there. You gotta just adapt and overcome it. Very technical stuff. Very rocky. Running higher tire pressures out here than we normally would because of all these rocks. And washed out pretty bad right there. Almost hit that tree. Almost fell over. Dead man slide. Let's see how we do here. Let's see if I'm a dead man or not. Jeez. John P's dead. But he got hung up on that branch. Just almost grabbed my foot. There goes John, he's hard. Ugh. I don't know if I get my bike stopped or not. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, I did. I'll try to hold you back here till you get on. Let me adjust your water here. There you go. There goes John P. Back up to my machine. Freaking littering ass people. I'm pissing out gas. That's great. All right.
Well, we crashed twice on it. <laughs> well, we made it alive. Yeah, but you'd have crashed harder if you did. There goes John P. Here goes Fire Guy 24. Almost tucked the front end. I was hard on the brakes, boy. That's a steep hill. That's good. Here come these trials bike boys. Well, they're not trials bike boys, but they do have trials tires. He's got the back end locked up. Piece of cake. That's like a bike I used to have, KTM 200. <laughs> How hard is it to go back up? It's not bad. We went, up we went up on that track, not this track. It was like a, a good line right here if you could keep it straight. Towards that rut? Yeah, right between those two trees. I mean, or this outside line, but I don't like turning when I'm hauling ass that bad. That's kind of got a, a hook to it. But this looks pretty straight ahead. You could head up to that rock up there and hang a left. There's like a dead end turnaround place to the left up there. Yeah. Just like that. Good times! Ugh. How's your leg? How's your leg? Let me get your fuel for you. It's pointing backwards off. Let me see if I can get her turned around here. Can you walk that back end up the hill? Try to walk that back end around this way.
All right, that should do it. Watch yourself, I'm gonna roll it back. All right. <laughs> All right, we got it. Huh? Yeah. Just leave it in gear in case we let go of it. Won't yeah. Down the hill. You want to scoot it towards me? Uh, I could ride it down from here. Where do I get the land up straight? I want. I just need to get on the other side of it. How's your leg feeling? It's just kind of throbbing, but it's okay. good. I got the bike. It'll feel better when it quits hurting. Yeah. Got it, John. You want me to get it? I uh, I think you just your your back end hopped up on that rock I think. Yeah. I got it on video, you'll be able to see it, but yeah, Alright, I got it. You can let go. So we're kind of back again, rolling down the hill into the tree. <laughs> <laughs> they don't move. <laughs> hey the alternative sucks. Yeah. Either get old or die. Sideways at all? That's when it hurts. Your ACL. I don't have one. Really? Yeah, I'm missing one. It hurts for about f four weeks. And then you just be careful after that. Everybody that has had their ACL fixed wishes they didn't. Really? Everybody that I know, they're like, I just tore my ACL. I actually hit a. 50 foot jump in a windstorm and my bike blew sideways up from under me and I straight legged the landing mm -hmm. like pogo sticked off my leg and back onto the bike and uh, blew the ACL out tore the meniscus and actually shattered the the top of my tibia mm -hmm. splintered it out and there was bone marrow leaking out really? they pulled a full syringe of blood out of my knee so and it yeah no I just iced it up and let it heal, and uh, there's still no ACL, but it doesn't give me any trouble unless I, unless I jam it like that, then the meniscus hurts. What do you do, like in wolf section and stuff? I just go, man. I don't know. I, I do have braces on, though. I've got my Forrest Gump braces, my EVS, or my web braces. Yeah, these are the real deal. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of guys don't wear that stuff till they fuck them up. It's already too late. I was wearing mine when I was young, so everybody around me kept fucking those up. You're not young anymore? Huh. Yeah, and then it's like, well, I'm not going to be racing that much anymore. So. And all they did was tear up my pants, tear up my graphics. Yeah, that's what these do. You're doing all right now, though. Yeah, you went, you went head over heels off your bike a couple times. That part didn't bother me. It was that first hit. Yeah, it's weird you say that you were hurt before you even crashed. Yeah, I was. I might check the video, see if I... Yeah. Oh, you'll see it. I'll post it up pretty soon. Just this short clip. I got it down, I think. It's just it's holding weight now, so as long as you keep it straight. Should have had on the trials boots, huh? <laughs> Wait, 
long as the knee don't buckle. There's no lateral. That's probably the ACL. I felt mine pop when it happened. Well, I don't know what happened on mine. All I know is hit something hard. I wish I could tell you the, the shortcut way back because we crossed that road, but you have to go back up there. Oh, actually, sometimes, huh? If you were to go back, you can take this trail back. Other trail